which is pretty cool. It's a very good song, so I thought we should start with, start with that. But what we're gonna be listening to now is sort of tavern in music, I think. While we're playing Elite Dangerous. To infinity and beyond. Let me turn this up a bit. Uh, let, let's get on with the game. So, while the game is starting, we could have a talk about what's gonna be happening today in today's stream. So, the... Saturday, I was visiting a friend, and he wanted me to show him Elite Dangerous and to show him, you know, what the game is and what it's about and, you know, how to play it and, you know, he might he was thinking about buying it himself. And I was like, well, well, all right, I, I can show you. And so I, was, so I did. Installed it on his computer, started up playing it. He thought it was pretty cool. And then he's like, is um, Earth in there? I'm like, what Earth? Our Earth. Oh, yeah, it's in um, Sol. So I showed him Sol, and he's like, oh, can we go look? He's like, nah, no, we can't go look because I'm not the right rank to get access to Sol. He's like, ah, you should get that rank. And I'm like, yeah, but my plan is to go exploring for like a long time. And he's like, yeah, but I, I could, I, could you show me before you go exploring? And I'm like, I can try. So my plan is to go getting ranks for Elite Dangerous. There are ranks for the Federation so I can go to Sol and then go exploring after that. I think that's my plan. So. As you can see, we've got start of the game, and we go private group. I play Mobius PVE. Very good group. It's a PVE. They've got two groups. They've got Mobius and they've got Mobius PVE. They're both PVE groups, but because private groups can only hold 20,000 people. The issue is here that the first group got filled up, so they've got another group which I'm in running. I don't know how many there's in that, but there's a lot of people in this, uh, in this group. So because the first one was called Mobius and they had to make another one, they just called it Mobius PvE. It's, it's basically both PvE, but you know. So, here we are at Wayinport. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. Did some stuff yesterday. Um, let's go Galaxy Map. For a moment. Uh, the game is a little slow when you first start it up, for the most part. You know, I'm connected to all sorts of stuff. It has to realize that I'm there and all that. So, well, you see, what I was doing yesterday, I actually flew quite away. I think, well, no, is it upwards? Yeah, I was up here in LTT one five five seven four, trying to get some, trying to get a certain kind of mission. So I got one rank. So I'm only missing three. But I've got to have a look at something here because somebody said I should do some sort of specialty missions to get more ranks. Yeah, so I got to look something up and see what I can get for that. No, no, not that. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that one. So I'm going. So I was advised to go to this place. I'm gonna look where it is just to, you know, have an idea. Um, let's see. N U I A S E N G. Um, that doesn't seem right. Uh, that's definitely not right. Um, wait, 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 nope, nah, don't do that. Back to Galaxy Man. That's, um, hmm. Hmm, that didn't work. Why did that not work? Yes, yes, fourth right. Hmm. Uh, we're not 
going to do bounties. something crazy light years away. And this is independent. Why is this? Um, that's no good. It can't be independent. That's Federation. All oh, right, right, right. That run. Government anarchy. Allegiant. No. Uh, give me a moment. I gotta figure this out. It, it can't. So let me do a quick search here. See if I can get some stuff done here. So let me see, let me see. Can we switch for this? This this yes. Oh, that's a long way away. That's like ah, okay, sixty. That uh, okay, that that could be could be worse. But um, where is the Federation station? I want then. That's not actually doing anything. Why is this not a station? Welcome to the stream. I'm trying to figure out something. Yeah, I'm trying to gain rank in the Federation of this game. But that actually, it's not actually very known. Wait. Stop right to have things do right. Um, that's still 200 and something. Insanely long way away. Let me see. Can I actually get there at all? In my current ship? No. I can't. That's um, impossible. Hmm. So my Cobra can't jump here, and I can see why because most of the stars around here are not anywhere near. Like it's not close enough that I can jump to and from them. So let's not do that so 
what are we gonna do instead? We need Federation rank. I gotta see. No, 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 no. Damn it. I did not just do that. Uh. I go out. I need to go out and in again. Detach confirmed. Observe QF system when exiting the station. Lending. boy and welcome to the stream have you had a good day today Today is like freezing outside. Very annoying. And I need to have this turned up. I can hear that. So. Superior. Okay, these are Federation. Thingies. That's that's cool. All right, so I need to del do missions for these guys. That would be the best sort of choice. Um, yeah, but I have to make sure these are on. There's no superpower here. They have to be superpower stations in order to. So I have to be these guys. These guys. Yeah, I'm not gonna donate. Gotta make money while doing this. So deliver four units of superconductors. Oh, there's boom data delivery. That would be pretty good. Boom data delivery. But where is this? This one. No, no. Yeah, this one. Where is this gonna take me? Well, it's not gonna take me there. What the hell, game? Could you sh show me where I actually need to go? Don't, not this craziness. Apparently not. Well, we're gonna tell it to. Um, I can't spell that game. B O L U N T U. Driving a moped with 60 kilometers an hour isn't that illegal. I know around here, if you, it depends on what sort of moped it is. If you have a driver's license, you can drive a 45 kilometers an hour moped. If you don't, you can drive a 30 kilometers an hour moped. So, this is where, but I'm gonna go. Ah, uh, that's the LT. Yeah. 
So how, uh, whoa, 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 is that really that far away? It's past this room too. That's a bit annoying. But, is it worth it? Can I, what if I go back to s this station? What's that gonna be? Oh, that's gonna be a lot of jumps, but... Exit. We're gonna go back. Yeah, well, let's go back. There's nothing interesting here. So let's do that. Let's get going. And please, if uh, the music is too loud, then say something. I can turn it down. Or the game, for that matter. Clear of the landing pad. You may leave when ready. I, I drove, I had a moped, a scooter once that drove 60 kilometers an hour. I saw no problem in that, it went fine. Now what is a problem is when you don't have gloves on and you're driving and some sort of big insect hits your fingers with 60 kilometers an hour. That, that's not nice, that hurts a bit. Or when you um, have your helmet on and you hit a bumblebee well, it smash into your bumblebee, you can like zip sort of here saying going on your that <laughs> that's funny though. That does that, that doesn't hurt. It's just loud. since we last streamed well I did a few missions well a lot of missions actually for the order of the Mobius for the order of Mobius oh, yeah. and um, with all the money I earned from that I bought a new ship it's not what I'm flying currently But I can show you the new ship when we get to where it is. That's actually where I'm going now. Well, I I actually came um, came driving on a, on my scooter when I had that, and there was this bird on the road, and just when I. Just when I um, when I came driving up to it, it decided to fly off. Only it wasn't fast enough, so it hit the front of my scooter and continued to then go right over my head. It was like so close to getting it straight in the face, but it, luckily enough, it went straight over my head and onto the rope behind me. I don't think anything happened to it because as far as I could see it was like flapping its wings and standing there looking around and then flew off so I don't think anything happened but you know I, I got sort of shocked from that Thank you. 
but yeah, where we're going right now, going right now is uh, where my new ship is. I had I flew to where this is, where the new ship is. Then I transferred this ship there. So one jump left. Jump. High security LTT 15574. Hexel port is where we're going. Axel Port, here we come. So, should be there in a jiffy. Axel Port was around where I started in this game. So, um, there's a lot of star systems around here, so it's easy to make a make start here. So this was sort of my main base for a while. What I have as my main base now is called Ravity's Mobius. Well, that's a bit of a stretch from here. Delacy, Mike, Romeo, Sierra, submit a docking request and a landing pad will be reserved for you, Commander. Yes, please. Pretty 
pretty good landing. Landing sequence completed. Disembark when ready. Enjoy your stay at the facility, Commander. Are you ready, Mr. Lama boy, and everybody else in chat? We're going to the shipyard. In this shipyard, I, well, I've got two stored ships for some reason. I've got a sidewinder. <laughs> That's actually the first sidewinder I had. To be honest, yeah, it's got a fuel scoop. Yeah, it's got a fuel. Yeah. All right, that's my first first ship ever, actually. Then I've got this one. This is my ASP Explorer. I bought this for the purpose of what the ship says, exploring. So the trouble with this ship is, it's got no weapons. I have a heaven. Let's we can, we can go in and say um, storage options. I think, yeah, storage options. Use this ship. Let's get in. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, into the ASP Explorer. See, my old ship has roof and all that. This got a very big glass canopy. Because it's made for exploring, so it's made so you can see a lot of stuff while you're flying around. As you can see. Um. So, let's... Starport services? Let's go in and have a look. Um, outfitting. So, this is my ASP Explorer. It's got no weapons, it's got a mining laser. Because the point of this ship is, we can go utility mounts. So I've got three heat sinks, which is supposed to be fired off when your ship is experiencing high heat. They will deflect heat and make your ship not as hot. Then I got a chaff launcher for defense, so that means if somebody attacks me, I can fire off these so they won't be able to hit me as much and I can get away. Uh, core internals, I've got, they've got no stuff, but I've got a 4B power plant. It's uh, not the biggest power plant, as you can see at the bottom there. I've got no power left. So where it says retracted and deployed, it's my power usage and I've got no power left. So I, when I fly the ship, I've got a lot of stuff I've turned off, to be honest, to gain power enough to what I need to do. But that's cause it gives me a lot of jump range. Like at the bottom you can see I can jump 31 light years in one go. That's a pretty good jump for a ship like this. That means I've got better frameship drive. I got the best frameship drive you can for this ship. There's a life support, I've got a little bit of life support, I've got power distributor, I've got sensors, I've got the best fuel tank, optional internals, I've got advanced, okay, so I've got the advanced discovery scanner, which is uh, for um, scanning. So when I fly into a system, I can scan this, and it will scan anything in the system. Doesn't matter how far away it is, I can scan it all. With the basic discovery scanner, I have a limit of how far I can scan so I might only find five planets in the system even though there might even even the even though there is 20 because the 20 of them is too far away for me to scan but with this I don't have to worry I can scan everything um, ah I've got a standard docking computer I'll show you how that works in a, in a moment I've got a 3b auto field maintenance unit which means this is a um, self repairing thing so when you fly around in space, your internal parts get damaged just by wear and tear. 
like you know when uh, you use a, a car or anything at some point the car will break down because the parts will be you know wear to a point where they don't work anymore the same will happen here but this is where we've got a auto field maintenance unit to fix that so this this fixes the internal part issues by the use of some sort of ammunition and um, I've got a detailed surface surface scanner that I can use to scan planets to see what's on them and sell the data and stuff like that I've got a shield generator not the best one but it's a little better than normal then I've got a 5D auto field maintenance unit and then you're like why do you have two well because the first one can't repair itself so in order to repair the first one I've got a second one to repair that to so so this means when this one gets broken the other one can repair it and vice versa so this is just to make sure I can repair everything I've got the 6B fuel scoop that's a beast I can this ship's got a lot of fuel and it will fill up like crazy fast it's very good and you can see at the bottom I've got balance I've got 6 million 6.6 .6 million credits but this ship if I smash this ship and I die in this ship it will cost me 1.1 million credits to get back to compare my um, Cobra I'm flying normally it cost me 50,000 to get back if I die and the um, sidewinder cost me 5,000 to get back so this is a step up this is expensive to die in but the point with this ship is is to go exploring so what I do is I travel to far reaches of space so I travel to far reaches of space where there's no people been before scan planets and you know scan systems and planets and I sell the data after some time so that's why this doesn't have any weapons because weapons will impair my jump range make me heavier so I can't jump as, as, as far so this is first, uh, mostly a scanning ship but I'm in the scanning ship right now and we can take it for a spin I've just got to look at the mission board here the trouble with this ship is it got it's got no uh, space it's got no um, storage wraps uh, storage storage uh, racks so I can't I, I can't take things stuff anywhere which is sort of a problem um, uh, boom data why can't I oh yeah I because I get commodities for it yeah yeah yeah, and I need cargo space. Yeah, I can't deliver that. Well, I could do an internal report delivery. But this is a Federation mission, so I could do that. Boom, data delivery. Yeah, that's even better. Could do that. I could even do it in oh, almost one jump. Um, assassinate Pirate Lord. Well, I can't do that because I got no weapons. So these are not gonna be doing because these are boom state, not a federation state. The same with these. This would actually be a well, well okay. So I saw this mission in here, this one, 36,000. That's not a lot because the ship is not made for this kind of stuff. But I'm just gonna have it fly so I can show you how it is. But let's do this instead. This is um This is a shorter jump, so let's just do that just for fun. Yeah, that's it should be an easy jump. Ah. Now what you can see here, how this map works is all the blue lines you can see on the screen that goes out from the big glowing one is how far I can jump and as you can see I can jump very far in this ship which is pretty nice so let's just um, yeah I need to accept the mission before I actually go away from it I have a habit of not doing that So in case somebody decides to, sh to attack me, I gotta run. I have no defense. I can't shoot him back. I know some people sacrifices a light year or two in jump range in order to have weapons. 
but this is not really a made for fighting ship, so there's no need for that. Ship release, observe station regulations on exit. Landing. Alright trucking gamer, you do that. Get some good food. So, this ship is not as fast as my old one. My Cobra can do 280 I think. 200 and something, 80 I think. Speed. This does 255. So with this, I could do 400 in the Cobra, this can only do 355. So it's not very fast ship when going here, but the jump range on this is very good. So, Friendship let's make a jump. with the fuel scooping it took me like a second I know I didn't use much fuel but still and I can do the discovery scanning well, and I got five new objects I haven't seen before in this area I'm pretty sure I've been here before they're just too far away for me to see before now so let's see we're going um, Mohammed Moment holdings. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So let me see if I can. Ah, uh, that's the light. Well, we can turn that on. So I should be able to. Can I don't know. I can't do any of this. So oh, this is my sort of my ship from the outside. Looks nice, right? And I flew past my objective while looking at my pretty ship. That's, that's not good. Yeah, we need to slow down in order to get this. So we should be going in in just a moment. Let's see, let's see, let's see. One thousand. And there we go. So let me just do something quick here. 
So I'm gonna turn off the music here from, you know, because we're gonna have a listen to something here because this ship has got what is called a docking computer. Which means that when I do this, request docking, it will tell me to slow down. And it will then auto dock me. Now have a listen to the music in game. This is very funny, I think. If it plays it when I do this. As you could hear, this ship plays classical music while it lands. Well, I think all docking computers does. And that's very funny. It's sort of like ballet music. I, I, I like it. It's very. I think it's funny. So let's deliver this mission. I don't get a lot of money for it, but you know that's not what counts because I get superpower reputation, and that's what I need. And I need a lot of it. So there's this. Oh yeah, we can go back again with what I had. We, should, we could probably take both of them. To El yeah. And then no, there's no more I can. So no. Damn it! It's civil war. This one's not gonna get me federation reputation. I don't think. Ah, that's annoying. That's annoying. That's very annoying. But let's take them anyway. Let's go into Yarping Dock. So I could, this is going to... The Candice Gateway, so I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Let's get going again. Let me get back the music for now until we get to the next station. It's a sort of pretty planet that one.
seriously bad. Like you can see at this module, they got like one percent damage. For use when you because when you're in space there are sometimes are stars like the one I've just had suns right next to each other and you sometimes end up between them which means you will get blasted by heat so fast which is very bad so for these you can just like be there eh. Cardis Gateway. I get some extra money for delivering this. It's very good. Disengage, ready. Okay, let me just hold the music here for a while while I quest docking. Docking request granted. Turn off the speed. Yep, there we go. This will then have me land in a moment. I don't have to do anything, it lands all by itself. Landing gear deployed. And the classical music is back. Launch back out right away because you got still got something to deliver. Yaping duck. Shift drive charging. There we go. Three, 
So we're heading for a yaping dog. That's 1,433 light seconds away. So with the current speed, it's gonna take me four hours, which is not right. 1C in this uh, is 1C is one speed of light, sort of, I think. It's, yeah, so that's 300,000 kilometers a second. 1LS light C takes one speed of light speed of 1C to complete. So in one second on 1C, it I go one light second. So at 2C, I'm taking 10 minutes to get there, but I'm going up, so I'm currently traveling 900,000 kilometers a second which is that's pretty insane traveling more than a million kilometers a second right now three million we are going in even faster oh yeah this is it's pretty good pretty good like, think about it, traveling one million kilometers a second. That's fast. And I, I, and I can see why they calculate speed of light in seconds, because it's like, if you have one speed of light, which is 300 kilometers, which is 300,000 kilometers a second, that would be like a billion kilometers an hour. Like, that would be insane to calculate in such speeds, going hours. So, we only do... seconds when we come to speed of light. Yeah, slow me down. Yeah, this is not gonna be enough. Nope, it's not gonna be enough. Is it? No, I don't think I was quick enough to do this. Ah, just not quick enough. Well, that's cool. Let's get back in it. Shouldn't be too long. Gotta get it into blue speed. And distance, for that matter. Disengage. And I've got voice command too, like voice attack, which means I can do voice commands. I sometimes forget to use them, but I have got them. So this is Yaping Duck, still in the same system. And we should be close enough to do this. Docking request granted. Yep, slow down. It should hook me right away. Classical music going in the background, slowly starting up. Landing gear deployed. And it lands perfectly each time. Like that seems. <laughs> I just love this ducky computer because I'm very bad at landing anything. So with this I don't have to. So let's deliver this. 
I don't get any reputation with what I needed, so this is very bad. But they are super light. There's 20,000 in boom data. Uh, requirements not met. Blah, blah, blah. Boom data. Blah, blah, blah. Requirements not met. Requirements. Boom data. I want to. But it's no good. So. Uh, we gotta repair all. Fuel, let's do that. So what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna do this in this ship. I hope this works in this ship. If not, I'm gonna be annoyed. But let's, let's just... Oh, bounty. Yeah, Star Wars service. Gotta remember to collect these bounties. Contacts. Ah. Oh. Well, there's some money. Universe and cartographers, that's the only thing I can get. Oh yeah, that's 31,000, that's cool. Thank you. So let's go back in here. Oh, I've got that's a lion. No, well, yeah. So oh yeah, lions. Oh, that's a lot of money. Galaxy map. So I've got to see if I can find the system again. Yeah, I've got ships there. HYU. Um. Oh, that's not a. Yeah, he did the wrong thing. I did the wrong thing. Why you? So this. This where some people say I should be doing mission. gonna be I, I should be able to jump here no problem with my current ship I've even got all the fuel to do so uh, it's not even gonna be long sort of jumps um, because that should be able to make me boom data deliveries this is Federation, this is, well, screw it, let's do it. Let's see, how many jumps? That's seven jumps, that's not too bad. Well, let's go. I don't get why I need to be turned around. Why could I just take off from what the direction I came from? Landing. Landing gear retracted. Yes, please. So let's get some music running in. Slow computer, my frameshift drive was charged and jumped. Oh, strange. So, as you can see, I used a bit of fuel here, and we're gonna need to. So, so let's take a scoop here and see what happens. Yes, all the fuel in the world. And we're done with that. Let me go in and have a look at the. Um, no, not system map.
in case we have a look at the map again. As you can see, I just got a lot of new stars. Like the one I was thinking, why is there no star here? Oh, planet yet there is. Just needed to scan it. So, prepare for light speed. Prepare for light speed. Frameshift drive charging. And we get all the fuel. And no heat. Frameship drive charging. Frame shift drive charging. Yeah, frame shift drive charging. Don't get too much heat, which is nice. Four, three, two, one, engage. Target panel. Target panel. So this should be the last jump until we reach a my destination. Fuel scooping complete. Frame shift drive charging. Yeah, that's cool. New his 
interesting. I have no idea what, how to say that. I think it's sort of random letters. Disengage.
Frameshift drive charging. Be. Be row. Be row. We row. I don't know. I'm talking about look at these stars they are right next to each other I could have been hand I could have been gone in between those two which would have been insanely bad for me so are there only one landing here yeah so they're all going to the same landing spot Nibble landing. That's not bad. This is a 41,000 light taken down. I'm doing 300, let's see, I'm doing 17 lights, so 17 light seconds a second. Well, you can't say it like that, but that's what I'm doing. It's gonna take a while. 30 minutes this says, but yeah, it's, I'm gaining. out there and then I go faster on this So right now we're doing 30 million kilometers an hour, like kilometers per second, which is pretty good.
Hakuna Matata to you, Quantum Creator. Quantum, Quantum Creature. And uh, thank you for that follow, it means a lot to me. Hakuna Matata, yeah. I love my, I love my follow my music, I think it's funny. Uh, Hakuna Matata, this is what, that's what it's all about, you know. It, no worries, no nothing, just sit down, watch the stream, don't think about life. Just enjoy yourself, you know? That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to, anyways. Well, I am enjoying myself, of course. I'm playing Elite Dangerous. How could I not enjoy myself? I've got space in front of me. At the tip of my fingers. Which is what is, um, is pretty ins cool. But, um, yeah. Well, fancy seeing you here, Quantum Creator. So, have you had a good day? Have you done anything interesting? Oh, and hello to you again, Trucking Gamer. Did you get some good food? Firewatch? No, I can't say I have. I don't think I have. Why? Is it, um, is it any good? Why am I speeding up? You know, yo. I was in the blue. You should be slowing down. Well, all right. Well, speed right past that. Firewatch. I don't even think I've seen it. I am slowing down. Would you stop going fast? You ship. Let's try that again. I uh, keep going past. Shouldn't happen this time anyway. And I am landing. Wait, <laughs> on some sort of wedding barge, there's a guy who's not sure he can actually go through with the wedding. Well, that's funny. in the game now it's space you've got the whole space in front of you you could do anything you want almost or do like me at some point in the near future I'm gonna be going exploring in this exact ship this is decked out for exploring but I'm just using it right now to do some small mission for the Federation so I can gain some rank but the plan is when I'm done with that I am gonna need to go exploring Landed. Let me show you something. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes. Okay, here. More services. And I want system map. Galaxy map. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. So let's see. N U E T S P four A O eight dash one. Yes. It's a long way away from where I'm at now. The seven hundred light years. Let's take a look at this. And see here. Yay! Woo! Look. Ah, I've discovered something. It's, it's a sun and an icy body and more icy bodies well a lot of icy bodies but I discovered them all they're mine 
all mine. See, they got my name on them. I, uh, that's pretty cool. So whenever somebody's gonna be coming by here and be like, oh, what's this? They'll see my name and be like, oh, oh, this cool guy discovered these planets. Ooh. And I've got a few more out there in other systems around here. But um, that's a... Uh... But I, I just did this as a so Yeah, thank you. It is so I just did it as a sort of a test to show a friend of mine what exploring would mean, how it would be done. So I looked at a few station uh, planets and, and a lot of them were taken. Then I come by, came by these and I'm like, oh yeah, explore them and then run back with the data just so I could be sure to have someone, some out there. I thought that was pretty cool. So I didn't actually explore that much, I just... Yeah. That's what I want. And there he is. And in this. Oh yeah. Claim reward. More claim reward. Look at that. Got missions. Oh, no. Yeah, no, a normal mission. We don't want that. Yeah. I was hoping there was more. Did I deliver all of them? Transaction. Yes, I did. So I've got no more missions here, which annoys me a bit. See that? No. Oh, if I had the rank of friendly, some of these missions would be insane. But I don't. Alliance? No, we don't want that. Yeah, but I don't want that either. So let's travel back. All right. Um, fire watch. Oh, fire watch. Is that the um, is that the game that where you walk around in a you know forest and all that? It's sort of you know. I think I've seen that. Is this No, I've got claims. I've got bounties to claim, but I haven't been in in any system where I can claim these. So no, 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 no bounties. I don't want any bounties. That no, oh, that would be bad. It, especially in this ship, because this ships have got no weapons at all. Oh, right, 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 right. Well, I, I, I was just saying, tracking game. I'm... That Firewatch game is that. Where you're in some sort of forest. I think I've seen you where you're like a hiker or something like that. And you're landing. And you're like. Landing here, and you're like hike in a forest. 
being a firewatch of a forest. Alright, but I haven't seen that game trucking gamer. I've just well I've seen it on Steam, but I haven't actually watched anything from it. Frame shift drive charging. Um but um Quantum, I I have no weapons, I've got nothing. I've got um some okay shields I think and then I've got some chaff. In order, in case I get attacked, but other than that, there's nothing. I've got no weapons. I've got a mining laser, but I can't do anything with that. Yeah! But you see, quantum creature, you would never be able to shoot me. Never, because I play in Mobius PvE, which is a private private server or private uh, game which is PvE so you would never be able to shoot me in here which would be which is why I'm playing this because I really don't want to be ganked by crazy players thinking thinking I've got good stuff And I understand that's one of the things people, some people who play this game think is a bit annoying. That people who play in solo play or in private groups can actually alter what happens in open play. So I might change a lot of stuff in open play, but the people in open play can't do anything about it because I'm not anywhere near them. I'm not somewhere where they can just fly out to me and kill me. No, you're right. And since I've got no cargo racks, I, I can't have any cargo, so there's nothing, you know, to gain from shooting me. And I can't shoot at anybody, so I can't gain a bounty. Well, no, I can get fines for doing stuff, but, you know, not, not likely to get those with my um, auto landing. Well, you could come online and let me shoot you to death, and so I can gain the 120 million. 
that would not be bad. But it again, it depends. If your ship is worth 50 million in buyback, there's no, no. Yeah, but if, even if they turn into a legacy fine, you will still have to pay the 120 million. I don't... Just because it turns into a legacy fine doesn't actually mean that you would be less, would it? Ah... Uh, yeah. How much is... Uh, how much was the buyback on the ship? Oh, eight million. Well, So, uh, Quantum, in case I um, place my detailed surface scanner here and buy a cargo rack, will my detailed surface scanner only be at this station or is it, can I access it from any station?
So if I had had cargo racks in this ship, I could have made a lot more money. But I don't. So maybe this is not the best place to be doing these sort of missions. Five million. That's um. But an anaconda only costs like 150 million, doesn't it? That's a pretty high buyback price for a 150 million ship. Frameship drive charging. Have you done bad things since your insurance is so low? Well, I don't know. Yeah, the ship itself only cost 150 million, but with all the stuff you put in, it costs much, much more. Ah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, I get you. I get you. I get you. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah this this ship costs six million, seven million. I put in like. For like 20 million stuff, I think. So my ship is now worth uh, 1 million in buyback price. Yeah, I don't think you. Maybe the game is has just has a set price. So let's say you get 50 million in insurance, and bam, that's it. Maybe you can't do anything from it. But I was thinking because you've got a lot. If you've had 125 millions in bounties, they might think you're sort of a risk guy. Which means you're not just doing uh, missions with passengers, you know, you're sort of a crazy risk guy and has, has a high chance of being shot down, That's why, which is why your insurance is low. But I don't know, I don't think the game works like that. Let's have a look at how it goes with the music. Alright. Well, I haven't done any um, passenger missions either because I've never had a ship that could actually do passenger missions or tourist missions or whatever. So I've been doing bounty hunting and stuff like that and power play too, sort of.
don't know why that's normal because I've never seen a screen with a dead pixel before, to be honest. So. So I don't know why it would be LCD screens, why that would be a char characteristic of a LCD screen, because I've never seen it. But a quantum creature, wouldn't that get you bounties in like, wanted in a lot of ways for shooting ships like that? I'm not I'm not gonna do because I'm Mobius and we're sort of alliance type people we don't promote war or shooting people in any way we're a PvE group for, for that for you crying out loud that's what I like it's the same thing with um, with this guy You then fly to this territory, you will be risk getting shot until they're all legacy vines. And if you're flying in a conda all decked out, that's a hundred and something million each time you risk, you know, you, yeah. Whereas the Federation and, you know, the others are Darth Vader. We, we don't want that. Not that, I think Darth Vader is cool, but not as cool as Jedi's. Docking request granted. Uh, I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm. So, this is my um, main area of where I normally am.
Well, not without a... Well, she's not gonna be the controlling faction, that's for damn sure, because... That's us, and we're gonna keep it that way. We're gonna fight for that system if we have to. We've actually got, like, three systems around there that is ours. We're controlling. go to that place well we can nope yeah superpower oh that's good allegiance yeah let's have a look But I think if, if we as Mobius get um, enough systems under our belt, we could become a major faction. I don't think that the chances are very high of that, but it could be done. Lending. I don't technically know. I don't think <coughs> we as the order uh, wants anybody else to take over. We are fighting pretty hard sometimes for the, for the systems, uh, keeping them under control, doing missions to keep control up and all that. So I hope not. That I hope that she's not gonna be come running. Well, she probably is, but let's, we hope we can fight her off. That would be best.
Yep. Oh. Yeah, taking them down. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking down some guy with my ship with no weapons. Yeah, no, thank you. Let's just deliver this and hope that guy doesn't attack us because well, I can't defend my. Auto docking is so nice. Like when I, if I come into a space station like this one from a distance, uh, I know, into a space station like this one, and I'm on the wrong side of it, I have so much trouble finding this entrance. Like with auto docking, that's just no need for that. It will just do it for me. There's no risk of me bashing into everything like I always do when I try to land planes. Getting these very bad missions. No, no. I'm not gonna be doing this. I did this way too bad. Outfitting never changed something. 
utility mount optional internal. And just have a look at that browse shop. Cargo Rex. See now this would have been interesting. I could get a 32 Cargo Rex at this station. Landing. Landing gear retracted.
Yeah, let's not do that yet. Better. Gotta make sure to not destroy any of my modules in here by heat. Even fuel up just a little bit. Yep, there it is. Hexel port. Oh, and look at that. I simply love space. Space is such a nice place, sort of. You can see stars out there, and you know, I even like when I, you know, when I'm not streaming, living my life I simply love sometimes just you know be on the ground it, let's say it's summer and it's dark outside or winter and dark outside and you're outside where it's, it's where there's not a lot of light around you so you can see all the stars in this in the sky it's amazing what you can see up in the sky you just look at different star collect star collections and stars and all that and it's very good I love looking at the sky, it's very, very good.
I forgot yeah, I could have that done. Yeah, bag and hacksaw. I I flew out somewhere and there was nothing out there interesting at all. Not with the current state my ship is in. What I'm gonna be doing right now, outfitting. Utility mount, optional internal. I'm gonna switch this out. Browse. Cargo racks, I've got all the cargo racks in the world. That's 32 space, that's gonna bring my total down a lot. Yeah, jump range down to a lot. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But that's, that's cool. Buying options, I'm gonna ex store, yeah. Change this out auto field maintenance unit. Let's just have a look. Could I have a few scoop of one a um,
was very bad. This means I've got no fuel scoop if I have these two. Because that fuel scoop is gonna eat all the space I've got. Let's just have a look at that, just for fun, see what it does, mission board. This was the right thing to do. Cause I don't have a fuel scoop and I won't don't wanna die in this ship. It's gonna cost me a million bucks to do so. I really don't want that. to the Carters, just to check, see what I can actually get from this. Locked anymore. You Super. The station exclusion zone. Goodbye, Commander. Super. Friendship drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Wow. Decardus. Descartes. Gateway. We're gonna need to travel to that.
I actually think it's a bit now. I'm looking at this stars, stars, the stars behind the, in front of me here, all the little lights in in out there. And as I said before, I love watching the sky at night. You know, looking at the stars and all that. It's very pretty. But it also, but I also think it's a bit scary. Not not to be. Um, In some way, because it, there's a millions of them in the sky. There's lots of them, and you're like, we never got to visit any of them. Not in my lifetime, anyway. I don't think. Um, which means we're not gonna visit them in my lifetime, and that's gonna be. The, who knows what's out there? It's a, it's not scary in a like scary way, and it's sort of strange calling it scary, but it's more like you know maybe fascinating and a little bit scary to think to think what might be out there. I'm not sure I believe in in all sorts of crazy alien types and all that, but well, you never know. We missed the good the classical music while we landed. Uh, so I turned off my own music just for to see that. Fifteen units of something something here. That I could go mine of course, but I don't know why I would do that. Data no. Donate no, I'm not gonna donate anything to you. Are you insane? Now that's a that's a very good mission right there to Aquila. We're gonna, probably gonna take that. I was hoping for something more interesting. But requirements now available? Yes, yes. Open galaxy map. Yeah, exactly. Well, probably not. Well, you know, but um, I should take the mission before I go flying. Mission board. And I gotta make sure that before I take the mission, that it's just actually. Uh, yeah, Federation. Okay, okay, that's good. But, it's, but what I'm thinking is there might be all sorts of bacteria or crazy plants or I don't know anything out there that might be scary but also fascinating in some way I think one meso key is more than enough. We don't need more of that. That can't be good.
Well, there's um, but you know, but but there could be uh, bacteria, creatures, whatever. Uh, I'm uh, not sure. I believe in the little green man type thing, and you know, but who knows? We can't be the only ones out there. Like, what are the chances that in a in like a galaxy with billions of billions and billions of star systems? We are the only ones actually getting to be some sort of intelligent life form. It, it seems like in highly unlikely that we're the only ones doing so. That would be like me being the only one in the whole world on Earth. Finding money on the ground. Like, people do that every day. Every day there's somebody who finds an... an some sort of money on, on on the ground outside every day but that's all right uh, there must be some sort of intelligent life out there somewhere if they're like on our state uh, um, they won't of course not be able to reach out to us because as we can reach out to them they can't reach out to us if they're on the same technology as we are but if not, and they're flying around in spaceships like I'm doing, well, who knows? Maybe they will come by us at one point and be like, oh, flying around out in space, entering into the Sol systems, then being like, whoa, 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 what is that? I have never been to this area before. What is that down there? It's an Earth-like planet. Oh, I gotta look at it. Hey, what the hell? There's people on it. They look strange, but they're sort of intelligent like I am. Wow, well, let's go have a look. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying, Lamar boy, that... Space is infinitely, infinitively large. Like, it's insane so large. Space is. There's no chance that there's not life anywhere on any of the Earth-like planets that's out there. That's out there. Like, it's, it, it, it's impossible. There has to be some sort of life. We don't know what sort of life, because... Have a listen. Have a listen. It's very good. Like when this ship auto lands, it plays classical music. I think that's cool. But what I was saying that, yes, you're right. There's billions of star systems out there. Billions and billions. There has to be life somewhere. It would be impossible for there not to be. It might not. It might be like ten-legged horses or something. I don't know. It's that. That's not the point. It's more like, you know. The idea that it's life. Mm. That didn't get me much. Six units of closing to chimber. Right, let's see what else is. Boom data. Uh, this is not giving missions. This guy. Liberate. No, we're not gonna liberate anything. Must be insane. How about you? No, I'm not gonna assassinate anyone either. If I could deliver five. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I could. Chimba. Gotta have a look. Nope, they're in an outbreak state. They're not gonna give me. Bah, that's. Super, they're gonna, um, gonna need missions for that sort of stuff, not the other way around. Boom, data, boom, data, boom, retreat. Oh, that's sad. 
is going to carry this open galaxy map. Which is going to be independent, which is very annoying. But I could do that in one jump. I think. Yeah, I can. I don't know what the clock is. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Or maybe I'll wait for tomorrow, see if they've got something better. Yeah, let's do that. I am extremely tired. Been up very early this morning. Been working out and all that stuff. So I am, yeah. Pretty tired. So this is going to be where I end the stream. I'll be back tomorrow, I hope so. I hope um, at my usual time tomorrow. Streaming some more of this. So please, if you uh, want to, come back and um, watch. It would be nice if you want to. And if you haven't, then throw a follow. It means a lot to me. But um, thank you for um, for coming by and watching. It's it's always nice to play games for you. And play Elite Dangerous anyway. So um, thank you and uh, thank you very much for, for watching. Have a great night, everybody. Have a great night.